Disco. He's a friend who's creative. Richard. Smart and investigative. Tina. Always encouraging friends. You know adventure never ends. Disco go. Rick. Very nice, very big. Yeah. Have no fear, inventors here. Learn a lot, we did not know. We'll be help each other grow. Disco go. Disco go. Ready, set, Disco go. Did you try restarting it? Of course I did. Maybe you have too many programs open at once. You gotta close them. What do you think I have been doing? Oh, hi. It's a little hectic here today. Our computer's acting buggy. Like, really buggy. <laughs> Not to worry, guys. I'll have these bugs squashed in no time. Um... Technically, they're called bug mites Rodney, perfect timing. Thanks for coming. Of course. It's an honor to finally be working in the famed robotics division. Excuse me, who are you? Oh, right. Everybody, this is Rodney from IT. Welcome, Rodney. You called IT? Of course I did. Have you seen the computer? Yep. Looks like a straight-up infestation of bugamites. I'm sorry, but how do we even know this guy knows what he's talking about? Well, computers sort of run in my family. We run the IT department. Well, I helped build this computer. Oh, great. Is it still running QOS? QOS? A quantum operating system. It's standard on all our machines here. It's a modified version by Gears. Oh, well, that might be part of the problem. The standard QoS security protocols are very robust. Hold on! Are you suggesting that my alterations caused a breach in security? It's really not a problem, Gears. I have plenty of experience with bugamites. I've never seen a case this bad, but it should be a pretty simple fix. I don't believe this! Gears, Rodney's a software expert. We should listen to him. Yeah, well... I think this will require a hardware solution. Seriously? Um, Gears, the bugs are clearly digital. Why? Just because this guy says they are? I told you, I can fix this on my own. Look, you guys are both really smart. Why don't you just work together? Work together? This is the robotics division, and I'm Gears. I'm sure I can figure out how to debug the computer without any help. I'm, uh, not really sure what to do here. Oh, I know! Why don't we have a competition to see whose plan works better? Sounds good to me. Yeah, sounds fun. I'm game. I'm not so sure a competition is a good idea. I have to agree with Miss Tina. Oh, we could do it like a show! And you can be the host, Gizmo! <gasps> a competition sounds great! Sorry, Miss Tina. Here we go! Ready, set, go! Welcome to Pest Control Alt Elite, the show where we determine whose solution will best fix the computer. On Team Software, we have Rodney from IT. And on Team Hardware, for some reason, Gears from Robotics Division. Oh, yeah! Let's go! Gears Nation all day! Right. Let us meet the judges. Widget, Rig, and Miss Tina. Wait, I'm a judge now? Widget, can you tell our contestants what you and the other judges are looking for in this competition? Absolutely, Gizmo. We're really looking for creativity, ingenuity, and of course, your own personal flair. What? What does personal flair have to do with... Rig, what advice do you have for our contestants? Just have fun and be yourself. Inspiring. Miss Tina? I really just want the computer fixed. All right, gentlemen, are you ready to begin? Oh, yeah! Let's yeah. Go. Your time starts. Now. I'm definitely a little nervous about this challenge. I've dealt with bug bites before, but never like this. There's a lot of history here in robotics, so 
I really want to make sure I do a good job. Nervous? <laughs> no way. Well, I mean, I did go a little bit out on a limb with the whole hardware thing, but if anyone can pull it off, it's me. Oh, hey, guys. How's it going? Good, good. Can you tell us about your solution? Absolutely. My plan is inspired by Protonatron 4, Isotopiary, when he used a super-powered suction device to pull the neutrons out of Automatown. Protonatron reference. Nice. So, it's a vacuum? Yes, and a good idea. Hey, Rodney. Looks like you're finished? Yep. I've already written the software for this, so it's really just a matter of running it. So, you don't have any concerns? Nope. None at all? No dramatic setbacks that could derail your future in this competition? Well, the AI component does take a lot of processing power, but the computer specs should be able to handle it. Um... 30 seconds left! What?! <laughs> <laughs> Ten seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Time is up. Huh. It is time to see the results. <laughs> Gears, Rodney, this is it. Everything you have worked so hard for. It all comes down to this. Gears, you are up first. Please step forward and test your solution. In a huge twist that absolutely no one saw coming, Gears' hardware solution has failed. Rodney, it is now up to you. Can your solution fix the computer and save us from the Buggle Mites? Yes, Gizmo, I believe it can. Shutting down the software. The computer's overheating. Just like that, Rodney's dreams of victory come crashing down, along with the computer. I'm sorry, everyone. I failed you. With neither solution capable of debugging the computer, the competition concludes without a winner. What now? We're out of options. We have to trash the computer. It's true. Seriously? Are you guys not seeing what I'm seeing? Okay then, I guess it's time for a Bible story. Gizmo, can you still animate on the computer even with the bugs? Uh, we can try. A long time ago, God's people, the Israelites, were living in exile. Where's exile? Exile isn't a place, Rig. It means they were forced to live outside of their home country. At the time, more Israelites were living in Persia than in their homeland in Judah. One of those Israelites was named Nehemiah and served as the cupbearer to the king of Persia. When Nehemiah heard that his city Jerusalem was in ruins, he became very sad and asked the king to let him go back and rebuild its walls. The city had walls? Yes, Rig. In those days, cities had walls for protection. It was also a sign of strength, so a crumbling wall meant a weak city. So what did the king say? Did he let Nehemiah go? He did. Nehemiah was one of the king's favorites, so he was given special permission to go back to Jerusalem and rebuild the walls. Wow. That's a pretty big project for one person. It would have been Rodney, but he didn't do it alone. Israelites from different tribes came from all over to help. Everyone wanted to see their homeland restored. Well, almost everyone. Almost? Some people from the surrounding area did not like that the Jews were returning to Jerusalem. They sent threats to Nehemiah and mocked the Israelites while they worked, hoping to scare them into stopping. 
a bunch of different people working on one wall? And other people messing with them? That must have taken years to get done. Actually, they did it in just 52 days. What? How? Nehemiah used different people in different positions. Half of the Israelites worked on the wall, while the other half stood guard against their enemies. Even though their jobs were different, because they worked together, they were able to complete the wall and return to their home. Widget, would you please pull up Ecclesiastes 4.9? The Bible says two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. I'm sorry I was such a pill earlier. Clearly, I was wrong about the hardware fix. That's okay, Gears. I didn't do much better with my software. I wonder what would have happened if you would combine your solutions. Yeah, me too. Wait, if we were to... Of course. Then that would let us... That's it! Let's do it. Uh, may I? Ready? Ready. And now! I thought we already tried this. Rodney's software was working before, but the processing it required caused the computer to overheat. But now, we're using Gears' vacuum to suck the hot air out of the computer, which will keep it cool and the software running. So the real solution was to combine both solutions. To work together. I understand for the best execution, it is best to have a friend assist in the solution. Five different drums and rhythm on one beat, it's time to put our heads together and both feet. Two people are better than one lonely, we have to work together. Together we help each other succeed. Is my charity day. I am taking these coats to the coat drive. <laughs> That's great, Gizmo. Helping others is really important. What are you doing? I am going to help build a house for the homeless. I thought you were going to the coat drive. Yes, and building a house for the homeless. Oh. Excuse me. Now where are you going? To the soup kitchen. How many charities are you helping today? Just a few. Do you need some help? No, thank you. I can handle it. Whoa. Gizmo, watch out for the <laughs> desk. That does it. I'm calling in reinforcements. No, do not call reinforcements. Why not? Because I signed up to help these charities. It is my responsibility, Miss Tina. What happened? There is no need for any of you to worry. Everything is under control. Gizmo's overbooked himself with too many charities today. He needs our help. But everyone is counting on me. I offered to help the charities. If you help me, then I will be a charity. Gizmo, it's okay to ask for help, even when you're the one trying to help others. We're happy to do it. Well, thank you, everyone. Anytime. Now, how can we help? Well, for starters, I need to make a new pot of soup. I can make soup. 
Um... Don't worry. I'll help him. Help you? Help others. Ready, set, go! It was your fingerprints on the keyboard, buddy. Don't deny it. I won't. So it was you all along. But what I can't figure out is why. Why did you do it? You fool. Explain for anyone to see. I did it because... Spill it. Because... Because why? Because... Why did he do it? Hey, Widget. Oh, Miss Tina, you startled me. What has you so wound up? I'm writing my very first mystery novel. But that's great. Yeah, well, I'm stuck. I've come up with a great villain, and I've come up with the perfect crime, but I can't come up with the motive. Hmm. Well, maybe I could help. Oh, that's very kind of you to offer, but no thank you. I really want to come up with it on my own. It's my first novel, so... Okay. What if he just did it for the attention? Attention? Sure, some people will do anything for attention. I can come up with something better than attention. Okay, Buster, give it up. Why did you do it? I did it for the money. But you're already rich. I did it for the girl. No, no girl would be impressed by that. I did it for my grandma. Even less. I did it for sugared breakfast cereal. What? I did it for frequent flyer miles? Be serious! Why did you do it? I did it for the attention. <gasps> no, you didn't. I did. Not the attention. Why not? Because that's Miss Tina's idea. But it's a great idea. It really ties the whole story together. That's it. We're starting over, and we're not leaving this spot until we come up with a better idea than Miss Tina's. Now, from the top, why did you do it? Widget, are you in here? It's past your bedtime. You should be in your charging station. Ugh. Writing is so hard. What happened? I wanted to write the greatest mystery of all time. I thought, if I'm going to become a great writer, all the ideas have to come from me. And just me. But you were right all along. Your idea was great. I just couldn't admit it because, well, I didn't want you to get any credit. I guess I was afraid you would steal my thunder. You silly goose, you're my friend. I just wanted to help you. I wasn't after any credit, and I sure wasn't out to steal anyone's thunder. <gasps> that will be the title of my next mystery novel, Case of the Stolen Thunder. Who stole the thunder? How do you steal thunder? Where do you store it after you've stolen it? Okay, time for bed. Ready, set, go! It's time to get positive. Cut, cut! Is something wrong? I felt good about that one. Yeah, no, it was okay, Rig. But we're not going for just okay. If we're gonna win the Protonicon film competition this year, we have to go for great! Okay. Uh, I mean, great. All right, let's run it from the top. But this time, let's say it with less pauses. More like how he said it in Ion's Return. That last take sounded too much like Electacor's Revenge. Are you sure? What? That we should do it more like the undisputed greatest film in the entire Protonotron canon? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Undisputed? Yes. What's the problem? Well, I kind of like Electacor's Revenge. Of course, who doesn't? It's a Protonotron movie. But it's not as good as Ion's Return. There's a reason that's our favorite one, Rig. See? You're always saying Ion's Return is our favorite one. But really, it's just yours. Excuse me? Ion's Return launched the Flip First story arc. I know, but it's not my favorite. I like Electricor's Revenge best. Are you being serious with me right now? All right, lunch is here. What is going on? We're shutting down production. Oh, no. Creative differences? Favorite movie differences. He actually likes Electacor's Revenge better than Ion's Return. And he's letting it influence his performance. I can't work with that. 
Is Rick not also a producer on this film? Well, yeah, but... And is he not paying for the catering? All right, I get it. He's an equal partner. You are both teammates in this competition. You have to work together, even if you don't agree on every single thing, especially something as minor as that. Maybe we could make up our own way to say it. Ooh, our own original creation. I love it. Sorry for freaking out, Rig. Are we good? Almost. I thought you were paying for the catering. Ready, set, go! Okay, Mighty Gero, where is the next emergency? Well, there's a kitten stuck in a tree here at the park, but you actually don't need to... No problem. This will be an easy mission thanks to my super boosters. All right, where is the kitten? Well... Allow me to introduce the newest member of our team, Rocket Rig! Team? Hi, Super Gizmo. I'm a big fan. I have all your collectibles, including your limited edition glow-in-the-dark toothpaste. It's Rig, you know, from the lab. I know who he is. You added a member to our team and gave him super boosters. Are you trying to replace me? What? No! Don't be silly. Then why did you give him super boosters, just like mine? I asked for them. I thought they were cool. Now I can fly and go super fast, just like you. Yes, just like me. What's the big deal? If we both have the same super abilities, what do you need me for? You're not the same. Don't forget, Rig is really strong. <gasps> That's my point. Oh no, there's a giant meteor heading straight for Earth at this very location! Let's rock it! <sighs> go ahead, Rocket Rig. You take it. But... You better go. Oh no! It's not stopping! Gizmo, get up there! He needs your help! My help? What can I do that he cannot? I cannot help him. Gizmo, just because you have the same abilities doesn't mean you can't still help. Two sets of super boosters are better than one. <gasps> Do you really mean it? Of course, it's science. It's working. Thanks, Super Gizmo. Glad I can help. Man, I gotta get me a super booster. Ready, set, go! So I still don't think we needed a whole competition, but you were an excellent host today, Gizmo. Thank you, Miss Tina. Hosting is my favorite. We can work together. We can work together. We can work together. We can work together. Put our hands together. Work together. Use our hands together. Work together. Move our feet together. Work together. We can work together. And we all agree. So we'll see. As a team, we help each other Looks like everything's all taken care of, so I guess I'll be heading back to IT now. Where is the IT department, Rodney? In the walls. We're rats. Are you sure you have to go back so soon? I could probably use your help programming a few inventions. It would be nice to have an extra set of hands around here to help us with computer stuff. Gizmo, would it be possible to make Rodney our official IT rep here in robotics? I believe so, pending his supervisor's approval and his interest in the position, of course. Are you serious? I would love that. And my supervisor is my dad. 
Okay, let's go look at those inventions. So now it's your turn to go and work together with others. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Ready, set, go. Subscribe to our Gizmo Go YouTube channel for more exciting Gizmo Go videos. Download the Superbook app now at gizmogo.cbn.com. It's the new Superbook Bible app. It's packed with games, activities, and Superbook episodes that you can watch for free. There's trivia, a fun daily devotional, and answers to your Bible questions. Plus, an easy to understand Bible the whole family will enjoy. You can even create your own Superbook character. Ta da! It's the new Superbook Bible app. Free downloads on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon.